Now, Molly, I do know that for the most part of this particular adult's life, they gambled and all of their money or the income was from that money. They have now decided to turn a new page and do everything the halal way. So what exactly happens to the old haram money if that is all they have to currently live off? Is that haram money permissible to still use? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So you're now saying the person only had haram money, uh, had a shabin, right? Or he was a drug uh, merchant, uh, merchant. Or she was a prostitute. Or whatever way, is, but that is the only income. How they go on is to make sure the mere fact that she could come back. A person that makes toba of his son. In Allah's eyes, it, it as if it never did the sin. And this is how people judge people. You know, people will judge you by your sins. Allah will judge you by your tawbah. People will remember you did 199 good deeds and you did one wrong deed. People will remember you by your one wrong deed. While if you did 99 wrong things, and he did one good deed, Allah will remember you on your one good deed. So when the person, what about the haram money, how it goes right, let him decide. And, and when Allah gives hidayah, he gives full hidayah. No? People may make, make a 180 degree turn around, right, to doing right, the right things. So the money, what the person earned before, that was his earned. You can't live on the same money which you earned 20 years ago, ne? Every day comes new money coming in. You have new intentions. You got all those things. This haram money will remain haram. You can't make it halal. Same same source. You can't make haram. The money he earns now, maybe with a different business, right? For what he's done before, the dead money you can't just make haram. Allah subhanahu wa taala is the judge of all the judges. Let people judge you. Allah might judge you in a different way.